Hey what's up guys Dhruval here back with another Photoshop tutorial and in this video I'm gonna show you how to create double exposure effect. So let's get started. So as you can see here it's not a typical double exposure effect I was just playing with filters and I created something like this and also to create this effect I used these three images and if you want to use them they are from deventart.com and they are totally free so let's start. So as you can see here I have this image already open in Photoshop and first of all we need to get rid of the background so I'm gonna use the quick selection tool right now as you can see here but the other thing is if you want like really perfect selection I would suggest using quick uh, pen tool not the quick selection one because this one like really doesn't give you sharp edges and it doesn't look professional so for the sake of tutorial I'm going with quick selection but it would be great if you use pen tool so I have selected her it was easy selection and I'm gonna apply layer mask from here and also this is not a beginners tutorial and it's gonna use a lot of masking and selection tricks so get ready for that so as you can see here the eyelashes are not that great and the edges are also like below average so to, to make this okay right click on your layer mask and select refine mask now this option is like above CS5 and CS6 earlier versions don't have this so once you have this select your brush from here and after that just paint on her eyelashes something like this and suddenly everything is okay see that looks fine now the other selection is not that good I get it but just get along with me okay and we should also get rid of this one too so I'm gonna right click refine mask again and then I'm gonna make my brush a bit bigger and then I'm gonna paint here in her hair so we get those hair back and make it look even better so it is okay for now and it looks fine now I need to make the vertical shape of the image taller so I'm gonna use my crop tool and make it big so it looks fine and I'm gonna make her in a bit center and then make it slightly small so that looks okay to me so we are done with the first step so as you can see here I have this image of the branches so unlock it and then I'm gonna take this image into this document and throw it here so it looks fine but forget about it for a moment let's create a background first so create a blank layer below your girl layer and then fill in it with white color so that looks okay now double click on this layer and then select gradient overlay and in the gradient select the gradient and then there is an option for back foreground to transparent gradient so in the foreground instead of white color select a darker gray so we can have that good transaction and then instead of linear make this one radial and reverse it so it looks fine and if you want you can scale it even more and if you think the gray color is too much you can decrease the opacity a little bit so that looks fine to me we have focus on her that looks nice so let's turn on that branch layer again and shut it off so as you can see here we have this layer but we need to get rid of the background and there's only one way to do this so I'm gonna go to select and color range and I'm gonna select this white color and my fuzziness is like on top 200 so we can get rid of every white corner and hit OK and now press delete and press ctrl D to remove the selection so as you can see here we are done with the masking of these branches now press ctrl T and rotate it so as you can see here we have this crazy white color in the branches as you can see here so there is quick way to get rid of that white patches what you do is you double click on your layer and you go to inner glow where are you and then instead of this yellow color you click on this black color and then instead of screen select the multiply color and decrease the opacity if you think it's too dark so so I'm gonna decrease it a bit and then I'm gonna also decrease the size a little bit so as you can see here it gets rid of those all white color and makes it look better 
so after that again press ctrl T and now this is up to personal choice how much branch you want and where do you want it so I'm just gonna make it something like this okay not that much I'm gonna make it actually big so this thing will require a bit of time so I'm gonna just finish it here for sake of time so that looks fine so that's okay now what you have to do is control click on this layer the branches so you have selection of the branches then press control shift I so we can invert the selection okay we are done with that and then shut off this layer we don't need that we have the selection now select the layer mask of the girl grab your brush tool right click and make it 0% hard and after that make it big and make sure you have selected your mask and then paint on this area like not full on but something like this and then press ctrl D when you are satisfied with it so as you can see here we have shape of these branches in her back so that already looks really cool now the second part let's start with this image I'm gonna put this image in her head this empty hallway so I'm gonna put it here so as you can see here this image we do not need any kind of masking so I'm just gonna simply right click make sure that this image is on top of your model layer as you can see here then right click on it and select clip in mask so that looks already dope but we can make it even better so make it smaller bigger as your taste take your time don't rush it so that looks fine okay that looks good and then apply a layer mask here so that we can get rid of the some portion of the image so control click here so we have selection of the girl and now select the hallway layer mask it can be confusing but just stay with me it's really easy so and if you get confused just watch it again it will help I'm pretty sure and then I'm gonna get rid of from here too so we can have that branch shape better and we can blend it better so that looks good and then I'm gonna paint it here again and then press ctrl D to get rid of the selection now this is almost done now turn on that branch layer again so this looks terrible right now but for temporary basis click on this model layer so we have selection of the model but we want the outside area so press ctrl shift I so we have selection of the outside area and then select this layer and apply a layer mask so we have made a bit of mistake but we can do one thing just select your mask and then press ctrl I so it's okay it's getting a lot of confusing I know but just stay with me it's not that difficult so so I'm saying in the middle of tutorial if you get stuck anywhere if you get confused just ask me in the comments I will solve that problem right there so don't get frustrated so once you're done with that as you know that the mask uh, black one removes stuff and white one brings it back so I'm just gonna right click and make my hardness 100% and then I'm gonna select this girl layer again and then I'm gonna get rid of this portion and then I'm gonna make my brush softer here and then I'm gonna click here so that branch layer blends with the background and the girl so that looks really nice and then press ctrl D so it is almost done and now again right click and this time make it hard so it's not like confusing it's just common sense if you want soft edges just go with the soft brush and hard edges go with the hard brush so here we need the hard edges of those branches so I'm just gonna paint with white color on this area as you can see here so we can have that branch shape back and then just paint with the black color in some area so we can have that good beautiful shape so I'm just gonna click here and get rid of this portion and then I'm gonna paint it here back again and then get rid of here so we have our basic shape ready and then just take your this layer duplicate it and put this on top now temporary that clipping mask is gone but right click there and again create clipping mask so we are good to go as you can see here 
everything is normal we just put this layer on top and since uh, and we had to make it clipping mask again so not a big problem so put it on top of again and then select this layer and put it on screen blend mode and after that grab your brush select the mask and make sure you have black color and then start painting on this area and also make sure the hardness is zero and then get rid of this portion and some of here there I'm just blending that skin on her face and body with the branches and then decrease the make the opacity 0% and then go up slowly so you can have idea how much you want and how much you don't so this way you can create multiple exposures not just double so it's just masking and selection you select it and you invert it and then you make it normal back so it if you're a beginner <laughs> I'm pretty sure you are screwed, screwed and out of your mind so don't worry about that so let's turn on this background layer again so looks pretty good and as you can see here we have these branches here that we don't need so I'm just gonna control click on this and then I'm gonna press control shift I to invert that selection you can see this inverted lines here so that means that this portion is selected and this is not so I'm just gonna go back to my branches again and then I'm gonna get rid of this and then I'm gonna press control D so this looks great now the fine now we are doing some finishing touches so select the bla uh, black and white create a black and white adjustment layers from here and in the reds you can increase it to make it a bit bright but you can just leave it as it is so that looks okay and then create a new blank layer and then press ctrl alt shift and e so it will create a jpg inside photoshop as you can see here then go to your filters and select filter gallery and in the filter gallery let's let me zoom out so as you can see so in the filter gallery make sure you have selected poster edges and make your edge thickness and intensity zero and the posterization six percent and hit ok so if I zoom in and then I turn it on and off you can see that it gives it a bit of like comic book effect that's not the proper comic book but as you can see here now go to filter and select filter gallery or you can press ctrl F so it will just repeat the filter so I'm gonna do it again so that's just way too much so I'm gonna press ctrl Z so it gives that poster type feeling and a bit of different look than the average double exposure effect so till then it's fine but it's a bit of underexposed because of dark branches and all those posterization so create another adjustment layers and select curves and in the curves just increase the highlights a bit so as you can see here that makes it look better and then decrease this shadow point a little bit so we can have a better contrast too so this way you can create it and once you are done with it you can just play with it all day long and create different type of effect and just like create a new maybe select anything I'm gonna go with gradient map and in the gradient map select uh, this super popular gradient and then let's put it on color dodge and then just decrease the opacity to like maybe something like 30 40 percent and then there are millions of things you can do it's suddenly different look not that very good but you get the idea that you can play with it so this way you can create really amazing multiple exposures using masking and uh, some of the selection and the benefit of masking is that once you save the file and after saving when you open it again you can change anything you want it's not like erasing stuff it saves the data so that's helpful and as I'm saying again since it's gonna be really confusing for if you're a beginner if you have any questions ask them in the comments don't worry about it so till then thanks for watching and also check out this other awesome tutorials so goodbye take care and have some fun with Photoshop